in my life if you're new here my name is Marcella and I am a software engineer based in Los Angeles California it's Saturday about 11 30 right now so I'm having a late start but this is pretty common for my weekends I wake up naturally around 9 and then I stay in bed and then got ready mix my room up a little bit I made some coffee so to start I'm gonna clean up my kitchen because I don't know if you can tell it's a mess my apartment always ends up being a little bit of a wreck after a week of work. So I always like to start my weekends just like picking up a little bit if I have the time. It makes me feel so much better. So here's to cleaning. And also, I don't have a toaster, but I don't like my bread toasted. Only sometimes. I don't have any plans, but I have things I want to get done. So I want to make candles. I make my own candles just for fun. Like I don't sell them or anything. I got, oh wait, let me show you. I got new fragrance oils and I'm entirely obsessed with this packaging ready. So I got a sampler. This one is the fresh and floral sampler. I'm just obsessed with this packaging and it has a little snap here. This one is one of my favorites. It's the gilded rose and spruce one, but they're just so cute. Anyway, so I'm excited. I got these in the mail on Tuesday and I'm excited to make some candles with him. How grandma of me, I make candles. One of the best breakfast burritos I've had. It has eggs, avocado, caramelized onions, carne asada, and hash browns. And yum. I just got back home. I am kind of tired. It was like an hour and a half of walking, so I'm pretty tired. And it was very windy, and you could kind of like feel the particles in your face, and I kind of feel like I have dirt all over my face now. It feels kind of gross. So I'm actually gonna immediately change out of these clothes. I just changed into this little Oh wait, let me put you somewhere where you can see me. Love this top. It's super cute. And then it has the same kind of thingy here. I thought it'd be interesting to give you guys some insight into some of my daily habits and the way I organize my life basically. It's not super strict because I can't follow a super strict, super routine. I'm not like, every morning I wake up, I got a journal. I do journal most mornings, but sometimes, like today, I journal in the afternoon or at night or whenever I can find the time. But anyway, first I have this little notepad. I got it for like a dollar. I basically use for any immediate to-do list, the things that I'm gonna get done today. Lists upon lists upon lists. The second thing I do is journal. I have two bullet journal-like entries that I like to use. The first one is a habit tracker. Here we just have dates of the month. Over here we 
you have some habits that I want to track and then I put an X if I did it that day or a dot if I didn't do it that day. Super simple. There's a really great book called Atomic Habits that explains the power of tracking small things like this. I have things like, did I call my family today? Did I spend time on a hobby? Did I read a book? And again, not super strictly. I'm not like, I need to do these or I'm a bad person. I just like to see when I do them and how I feel each day when I do them. And then I do my gratitudes here. For my gratitudes, it's super simple. I just list the days on the side here. And then for each day, I write a good thing that happened that day or thing I was grateful for that day. It just reminds me that even on the bad days, there's things we're thankful for. The goals page. This is related to my third form of organization, which I'll show you later, which is Notion. In Notion, I have a list of I don't like to call them resolutions because they kind of feel like when you say resolutions, like they're not going to come true. But because I do the system in last year and the year before that, I've been able to achieve most of the things on my list that were in my power to achieve. Like last year, I had some travel goals that I couldn't achieve because of the COVID. But anyway, the point is that with this system, I achieve pretty much all my New Year's resolutions. So have a list 2021 goals or like things I'd like to do in 2021. And each month, I go back and look at that list and then I write down some things I want to do within that month that would help me get closer to getting some of those things done. Reflecting on your goals each month gives you 12 opportunities to think about ways you can achieve them and make them happen, you know? So I actually keep my bookmark on this page of my February goals because every time I open this up, I reach this goals page and I always have to look at them. So those are the main entries I have. And then after that, we have just daily journal entries. Journaling is really helpful as more and more we like are on our phones all the time and always talking to people, working, whatever. It's nice to just like sit there and think about something, whatever it is that you want to think about. That's my personal journal. And then the last thing I do is on my computer is Notion. And Notion has blown up recently. I feel like I see everyone being sponsored by Notion, but I was on Notion back when it was paid. Like now it's free ever since COVID. I think it's been free. I'm a OG Notion person. Hi, editing Marcella over here, and I realized that it would be too long for me to give you a full tour of my Notion, so I'll probably do another video on it because I actually do love the way I've organized it. And if you're interested, let me know down below. It's really helpful in my day to day. So if you guys are interested, I could make some templates for you. But anyway, gonna skip that for this video. Just that I ordered literally yesterday. I got two very random unrelated items. First, I got these two ounce um, glasses and they're meant for you to brew espresso into. Super cute, right? Then the other one is pepper spray. I've lived in LA for so long and I haven't had any form of self-defense, but things are getting a little sketchy out here, not gonna lie. That's my little unboxing. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go get boba now and then, yeah. Gonna go get boba, edit some more. Hang out. See you soon. Got boba. I like to always flip it over like this, but it's from this place called Twinkle Brown Sugar. It looks quite large, but this is their regular size. It's a green tea with passion fruit syrup, which I like half sweetness. And I put boba as well as lychee jellies in there because I'm a little extra. Um, but this place is really good. Nice. But my boyfriend has so many plants. We'll be here editing for the next hour, maybe. And then I'll probably cook some dinner. Woohoo! Also, I took this video in Madrid, right outside of my Airbnb. You can find it on my Unsplash hashtag shameless plug. a hair mask. I just put some coconut oil in my hair and I honestly just let it sit for like 30 minutes or however long I want to. Today it's only going to be 30 minutes because I have other things to do. I just throw this in the microwave for like not even 10 seconds. I'm gonna just massage this oil first through my scalp and then through the ends. Sorry about the ace. what's left because I'm gonna shower in like 30 minutes I take what's left and just put it all over my arms and it just helps with hydration
Hi, good morning. Well, actually, it's pretty much the afternoon now. I think it's exactly 1 p.m. This morning, you saw I did some self-care. I feel great right now, so I like took a shower, I did a coconut oil hair mask, did my makeup, did my skincare routine. We're gonna go hit up the pottery studio to do the trimming. Later on, I'm probably gonna come back and make my candles because I need to use those fragrance oils. And I So we came to the pottery studio, but the door is locked, so we can't trim our pieces today, which is sad. Um, I guess they must be closed on Sunday or something. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna just walk around because this area is pretty cool. It's called The Row in downtown LA, so I'll show you a little bit of that. Now you just let it cool. That's it. If I test out which scents I like, I'm just gonna order a big bottle of those and then I'll be able to make many candles all at once, which is exciting. Um, I'm making one more right now and I'm waiting for it to cool before I pour it. Only about five degrees away before I can pour it. I'm gonna be making dinner now. I'm gonna make some loco moco. I'll link the recipe below. Um, I've made it before and it's really yummy and I think instead of having mine on rice I'm gonna have mine on a cauliflower steak, which is a little weird, but my boyfriend's probably gonna have this on rice So I'll show you the finished look Definitely outdone myself with this one. This one legit feels like I'm in Hawaii right now. The rice, the gravy, the patty, the egg. Bro. Yum. Um, this is my guy. He's also pretty awesome, but he just doesn't look as much like a local mocha. I have a cauliflower steak at the bottom. And the same components as the other one. Definitely the winner over here though.